being able to copy a keyframe from one location to another along the timeline can come in handy when wanting to transfer stored details within your animation over to a new location and time. The process, copying keys, is done by using the exact same technique that you'd use when wanting to copy an object in your scene, by simply holding down the Shift key. Let's take a look at how that's done. This is a file named Copy Keys. You can find it in the Working Files folder for this chapter. Let's go ahead and select the object and play things back. We simply have a blue and red object that's been animated moving across the screen from one corner to another, each key along the timeline being spaced 60 frames apart. Translated to plain English, that means the ball is basically taking two seconds to go from one position on the screen to another. You can see the keyframes down on the timeline as to the way things have been timed out. Let's say that when the ball makes its way to the lower right-hand corner, that we'd like it to stop there for one second before continuing on to its next keyframe location, that being on the bottom left. Now think about this. Don't we already have something down on the timeline that records the position of the ball in that lower right corner? You bet, it's the key at frame 60. So if we could somehow copy that positional information to another frame, wouldn't the ball then be in the same place or in the same position at that frame too? That's right. Let's see if we can't do that. We'll select the key at frame 60, hold down the Shift key, copying it to frame 90. Notice the original key, the one at 60, is staying right where it's at. Let's go back to the beginning of our animation and we'll play things back. I'll jump to the front by tapping the Home key. The object now holds for one second in the lower right-hand corner before moving to its next position. So we've locked that baby in place. Now, what about this? What do you think would happen if we copied the key at our first frame and laid it directly on top of the key that we have at frame 120? At 120, our object is currently hanging out in the lower left-hand corner of our scene. If we made that change, that new copied key would basically replace the existing or current key at 120. And in that would have the ball not cruising over to the lower left-hand corner, but instead returning to the same location as where it was at frame 1. Let's see if we can't do that. I'll now select the key at frame 0, making a copy as I move it. As you're sliding your newly created key in position, look below the timeline on the lower left-hand side for instructions as to where you're moving. When you have things in position, let's go back to the start of our animation and play it again. Now our object heads down to the lower right-hand corner, then returns to where it was at the first frame before moving on. So we've basically taken the information at our first frame over to frame 120. Okay, now how about this? Let's say that as the ball heads up to the lower left-hand corner, we want it to stop for a moment once it gets to the middle of the screen. Now, there's currently no key that contains that information, that middle of the screen position, but that doesn't mean we can't make one. Let's grab the time slider, taking it to frame 105. This will have our object positioned in the middle of the view. Okay, now we need to somehow store that position. We can do so using the set key. With the object selected, activate the set key command, then hit the skeleton key directly to its left. This sets a key at frame 105 that we can now manipulate. Let's say that we want the ball to stay in the middle for just a slight pause, like 5 frames. So using our keyframe at frame 105, we'll now copy it to frame 110. Let's head back to the beginning of our timeline and play things again. So our object, just for a slight moment, pauses in the middle of the screen before moving on. Now if we wanted that pause to be just a little longer, we could simply move that key that we put at 110 a little farther back. When you want an object locked into position for any length of time, just locate the key that's in that position and make a copy. Moving that copy whatever distance away on the timeline that's necessary, in order to keep your object locked into that spot for however long you need it. Make sure you remember how copying keys works. Scenarios just like that will definitely pop up in your own projects. I'm going to go ahead and save this out as Copy Keys Completed if you'd like to go in for a look.